Bread and this is friggin' nerd Mike, my sexy husband. Oh snap! Listen, Mike was off work today, and he I said, was. "Hey, little lady, let's let's drop these hoodlums off at school. Let's do it, and let's go see a movie. Daytime date, baby. Maybe you've heard of the movie. It's a little little production called The Marvel. The Marvels." Um, yeah, so we're here for, like, uh, Mario's parking lot review. Mm -hmm. Um, it's actually, um, uh, it's a, like an in-the-car moving review. But yep. Mike's driving. We're good. Um, okay, so, 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 what were our thoughts? Wait, 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 right. wait. Let's well, start by saying. Yeah. Our expectations were very low. Look, extremely I, low. I'm pretty sure most people's expectations of this movie was probably pretty low. Uh, coming into this from Phase Four, most of the projects leading into this since Endgame have a, been a bit of a, kind of siloed approaches. Phase Four. Phase Four has taught me something. Mm -hmm. um, in the wise, wise words of MJ. Mm. Uh. If you expect the worst, yeah. then you'll never be disappointed. Yes. And I should have adopted that mindset earlier in Phase 4, but I've learned my lesson now. So I went in with, like, basement floor expectations. Um, and I think we were both very pleasantly yeah. surprised. I, I was very surprised by how much I enjoyed this movie. Um, I will say it felt familiar uh but it was a uh familiar feeling that i felt mm, like has been familiar, lacking familiar. i like that's a good word it, it's felt like it, i feel like it's been lacking in mcu projects uh, in the last several this one felt like a familiar marvel movie um sometimes that may not be the best but i felt like we needed that with this movie right? familiar's not always exciting yeah but familiar is a warm blanket that Warm reminds blanket. you of home. Yes. Now, um, the movie itself, the plot, um, probably not the most complicated or complex. No, but it. Okay, look, it was. It was. A, it was. It was a familiar formula for the Marvel that we knew. Mm -hmm. um, it was easy to follow. The characters were easy to follow, and I think that that's really important now. Yeah. Because. We've made a mess. Now is not the time for giant risks. Okay. I think I think Feige came in and helped this project a little bit, and he was doing this. Let's just reel Let's this just in just a little bit. Reel back in there. Reel this craziness back in. They took a lot Ooh. of chances with some of the other projects in Phase Four and and so far in Phase Five. This one felt like a, a safety net, and it and it worked. I, again, I felt like I kind of needed this reassurance that they can go back right. to something like this. Because here's the thing. What makes the MCU, the MCU, what makes it special is its connectedness. And Phase 4, we lost that. And I feel like this was the very first project yes. where we finally got the connections that we've been asking for. Yes. Like, I geez Louise, was, why didn't you do this earlier? And, why did you have to piss off your entire right. fan base to get to this point? And in the Marvels, no In less. the Marvels, I was supposed to say, I was, uh, this was an unexpected choice for them to start connecting to other projects. Uh, there's been so yeah. many, we've theorized yeah. on this channel so many times about all of the ways that they could connect these movies and plots. And this one was the one they said, this is where we're going to start doing that. Um, and so I, that was that was another huge win, I felt like, for the movie. Um, I, I And I think that may be why I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. Again, the movie itself was okay. It was a Marvel's, uh, Marvel movie. It was good. It was good. Yeah. It, was just, it was just a... It was not, there's nothing groundbreaking. Kamala, there's nothing crazy. Kamala Khan, highlight of the movie. Her family. Her family was the highlight, highlight the for movies. me. They were the comedic relief. Yep. The jokes hit for me. Um, lo freaking loved their family. The only, my only 
um, big gripe is I, I don't, I just don't love Brie Larson in the role. I love Brie Larson as an actress. Don't love her in the role. She's a little too, I don't know, delicate for me to yeah. believe that she's like a badass. So I and, didn't love her in the role, but. And the villain, probably pretty forgettable villain. Yeah. Um, yeah. She was just a very stereotypical villain bad guy. Um, that, but I did, what I did like a lot was the, the team dynamic of the three of them as well against the villain, especially with them, like learning how to use their accidental powers of being able to like teleport to each other. Yeah. Um, the, them using that to their advantage in the fight was pretty cool. Um, I did like the, the, the teamwork aspect, which I, cool. I miss seeing in Marvel films because they haven't done an Avengers movie yet. Right. Uh, well, since Endgame. And so it was cool to see a team, uh, fight as well. I thought that was, that was yeah. cool. Yeah. Overall, There's, I think it was a really good watch. Yes. Uh, there is one mid credit scene. Just one. That you gotta Just watch. Just one. You definitely have to watch it. Um, and I felt like the very, 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 very end of the movie kind of felt like an, an, its own end credit scene just at the end of the movie. Yeah, like I it, agree. They didn't make you wait for it. It was just there at the it end. It was there. So, uh, yeah, I, I it's really... good watch. Really I, think it. it's, I think it's going to be an, an important one. Like, I, I mean, I guess you could get filled in online, but what's the fun in that? Exactly. Um, yeah, it's a, I think it's important to, because of the connections that have been made in this one... It'll be important to just know what's going on as we shift into um, into Phase 5. Benchmarking. But, I'm not going to ask you for a score yet. Uh, I don't know if we want to do that. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't real know. Real quick benchmark. Thor, Love, and Thunder or this movie? <laughs> That's unfair. I enjoy uh, Thor, Love, and Thunder because I, I enjoy his style and, and his comedy, but I hate... I hate what they did to the villain and, and how that could have changed the whole phase. Yeah. So, so that's not fair. I enjoyed I enjoyed that movie and the characters and stuff more, but I'm much more pleased with the direction that this movie yes, moved. Yes, agreed. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Okay. Awesome. Go watch it. Go check it out, Do guys. Do your things. Mario and Lee are probably in the theater Right watching now. it right now yep sitting in their movie theater with their little popcorns just having a grand old time oh, and Mar that could be mario you. mario's got a box a bunch of crunch right here he's ready to rock this that could be you guys it could be you so you should go and watch it and let us know what you think and as always hey stay freaking stay freaking nerdy guys you've been freaking awesome i did it backwards yeah. you've been freaking awesome yeah. stay freaking nerdy yeah there we go that's all right, right. see yeah, you yeah. later Sorry, bye guys. bye <laughs>